Y'all do everything for YouTube. Y'all do everything for the show. No, shut the fuck up. What's going on? It's your boy Justin J, aka the King of Reads. I am here with the season three cast of Chasing Atlanta. Girl, after three years, they finally got a chick that is fat enough to get me here. No, I'm just playing. But I'm excited to be here with the cast of Chasing Atlanta season three. Let's get to it. Woo! Battles and rumors. Chase and Atlanta has managed to get it all for our eyes. Let's take a look at how the season went. I don't do scam because I know for five years I've been on probation. And then a week later, now I have to terminate my probation. Now I'm violated. It's, it's, it doesn't seem realistic to me. So let's start with this. Somebody told me that Gardini has LLD, the name of your hair company, in his name. You got people past 30, close to 40, still trying to do get what you got. Montel. Hi, hey, what's, what's up? Going? This How is my friend Troy. Well, I guess before I tell you who's going, mm -hmm. are you, where are you and Jaylon? <laughs> so I want you to meet Troy, and then uh, this is Oliver. Hi. We met. Did you meet before? I'm gonna go. Hey, girl. I'm use Gardini's friend, and I'm not anybody with him. So, hey, my name is Shayla Motherfucking Aaron. What the fuck you got? No, to your say name me? is Shayla Aaron White. You that idiot to get Shayla Aaron White? Oh my God, that's my name. If you don't like me, like me for something I didn't do. Not what another bitch is doing. Okay. And Let's go. We talking. We almost done. Uh huh. Back in 97 when I realized that I had it My first 16 proved that I was a baddest chick On my motherfucking way in the game You niggas remember my name, the kid you're chasing the face It just feels good to finally be here and doing what I love Being a transgender rapper and going to these studios Someone was trying to hit on me and then when I told him what was up All of a sudden you can't work with me Oh my goodness What's going on? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. I am having a house party, and it's like almost like a networking event as well. Okay. I would love to showcase y'all music. I know we have a we perfect. actually yeah, have a yeah, single that's coming up. Okay. This is really What's it called? It's called Both Legs. Both Legs. When it comes to my music and shit that I do and whatever I do, that's personal. That's personal opinion. So don't throw no motherfucking daggers. The disrespect that you gave wasn't enough. They told me about your hair. They said, this ain't got shit to do with y'all. No, I just want to be very clear. You better kill the You better kill the No, 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 no. You better kill the out in real life. I just feel like Cameron just go wherever the wind blow. So because some people here don't like him, I'm just. Tell me, am I lying? I didn't come on this mother show acting like I was a bougie bitch or I had this or I had that. I'm from the mother hood. You told you told people amongst this group that you felt a certain type of way. The sky wasn't there doing your fucking treatment, but you didn't tell people that you was inboxing me, inviting me to your motherfucking bed. I literally lost everything because of you. And I had to start the fuck over. Man, you had an F rating for how long? I what just say the LFB. What you gonna do with the bitch? I hate her. I hate her. Bitch, what's the status on your phone? Girl, I'm waiting for a cash app. From who? Whoever. Girl, you got no insurance? 
Uh uh, who does that? Oh, when you scam the phone. Did you feel any difference once you got out of jail? Like, how did you feel when you got out of jail? I was really excited because jail is no place for no one. Do you know who called in and got you? I mean, allegedly, you know, y'all seen it, I said it. I mean, I'm not gonna continue keep okay, repeating the same shit. Want? So, Jalen Aaron, yes. Woo. Okay, I'm about to ask, I'm about to ask. So, the cast and everybody's been asking, what are your pronouns? My name is Lauren. Lauren, <laughs> absolutely. Lauren. Absolutely, so what is the status of your LLC right now? I mean, currently it's the B rating, so it's doing really good. So what is you doing with it? It's just sitting. <laughs> so we're gonna move on. Q, you showed us a lot this season. Let's give a round of applause for Q. Yeah. I love you, Jayla. Last season, you weren't as you weren't here for the sis, the girl. But this season, since you were voguing. I think the thing about it was, we didn't, I didn't have a relationship with those certain cast members. Okay. So this is how I feel. If I'm amongst my private setting with my personal friends, we can call each other names, we can let our hair down, and we can do our own thing. If I don't know you, no, you're not going to walk up to me just because what you think or assume. And even that's what I am. But you're not going to walk up to me and say, hey, sis, like, bitch, I don't know you. So, no, we're not sis. Okay, girl, we got to know you this season. All right, let's watch those girls. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know her. I don't know her. We were born. We got a chance to see them. This is your first season on Chasing Atlanta. What was your experience? It was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Great. Y'all be talking in the intro. I mean, in the confession. Y'all got nothing to say today? It was fun. That was it? Yeah. It was okay. It was pretty cool. Okay. So we also got introduced to another cast member, a new cast member, Oliver Twig. What was your experience? Was it about the same as we were born? Uh, I'm pretty sure not. Well, you know, they call me the cop chasing snake, so Ooh, girl, I she thought that the serpent would bring no, an apple. Snake, just cop I, thought, I thought, you know, okay. take one bite and all of your cloud chasing dreams will come true. Yeah. Oh, um, but, you know, my first press, season, press, press, press. girl, be quiet. Girl, it's not your turn. Okay. It is not your turn. Girl, it's not your turn. But tell us about your turn. Girl, 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 I can girl, tell you what the cloud chase is. No, no, no. I don't know what you want. I said you want the cloud chase. I didn't tell you what the cloud chase is. Girl, stand up on your feet and you tell me anything you've done chaser. for me. You're a cloud stand chaser. Stand up on your feet and you tell these girls anything you've done for me. You are a cloud chaser. Tell these girls anything that you have done for me. How did you get on this platform? Girl, not you. Girl, not you. Girl, not you. Not you. interesting because like I came in with people who I thought were my friends and okay. people who I thought would like would have my back and then like to find out that people were like doing stuff behind my back and doing stuff like that was very disappointing but on the flip side I can really say that Chasing Atlanta has really elevated everything in my life to like the next level. So we have one more new cast member she's unfortunately not here today that's Kendra. She's here. Absolutely. 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 For me. Oh, okay. Okay, but that ain't what I said. He got on there and lied. Okay, well, we're gonna bring it back. So, with that being said, we talked about all the legal stuff or the lack of legal stuff or the LLDs and the LLCs. Girl, <laughs> we're gonna take a look at our next clip. Let's take a look. The head that in charge, I am a rapper and content creator. Call me your highness, cause she come from my highest. Basic bunnies behind us, they better catch up like Heinz. Montel. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's, what's up? Cool. This How is my you? Troy. Boom. I bet y'all wasn't expecting to see me. So I want you to meet Troy. And then uh, this is Oliver. Hi. We met. 
We did me before. Oh my god. Hey, you told me you was Gardini's friend, and I'm not anybody with him. So Hello. I'm definitely walking off. I told these people I don't want to do anything with anybody. Between her, huh, this damn Kool Aid blue wig, these goddamn clocking heels, toes hanging off the front, I'm just so confused. I don't know who the animals are, her or the damn things behind the gate. So you and Jay Long left me stranded. Really? Jay yeah. didn't come? Jay did not come. I was the only one that showed up. It was the Barbie doll theme. I came in all pink, looking like. Breast cancer awareness. Oh, you never been real. Always been fake. Hiding in the bushes on the cover ass say. Thought you was a friend. That was a lie. How once was flying, but now I see. <laughs> Kendra's party, first of all, what the f was Jalen and Troy? Okay, they supposed they the ones who invited me to this. They the ones who supposed to be guiding me, introducing me, leading me, directing me. They wasn't there. Okay, cool. Check. I'm here for one reason, and that's really to push my brand and do what I do. I'm not here for all that, so I'm just like, I hope that she doesn't come around to be the devil in a different color wig. Like, sis, keep it down, keep it cute, and let's not be doing all that. Okay. Before we piggyback our dad, we got a new member to the cast, Troy. Troy, what was your experience? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. So, Miss Oliver. How has this platform like helped you promote what you're doing? So like on the creative side, like I've directed um, two music videos this year. One went viral. Well, Young KSB, Stop yeah. On My Ass. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I did shoot, direct, and edit that video, so I'm really proud of him. Was it shot in Atlanta? It was shot in Atlanta. Okay. Um, and then Paris Bennett, who's on American Idol. Um, I just did her lyric video. And then I have a, um, a couple of more projects where I'm the creative director behind, just helping people bring their visions to life. So that's been rolling in very steady and then my music um t.s madison is taking me around for the queen supreme court opening up for her um i got some couple of shows in new york were a lot of fun i'm actually going back to new york um in two weeks to headline for the slay fest bobby lights the kaylee 47 oh, michelle yeah, shout out to slay fest yeah. um so i mean if anybody knows about being booked and busy it's lauren england <laughs> 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 But girl, you booked today, we got you. Okay, give me a shot some lean tea. <laughs> okay? Why are you so harsh on judging Oliver for being friends with Gardini when you and Gardini are friends too? Um, honestly because it was already then. Uh me and Q already had already have had a relationship before okay. you know, the Gardini situation. What type of relationship do you mind me? Just asking? a friendship. Okay. Nothing more. Mm. <laughs> but um when it came down to the show, I already had told him that I didn't want to film if Gardini was coming to the show. You told Q that? No, I told the cat I mean the production. Okay, okay. So when I found out that he knew Gardini, which he already had told me he knew him mm -hmm. prior to us actually meeting again Okay. to film. I just wasn't in that space to like meet anybody that knew him or anything like that. I was just like, I don't have time for negative energy. I don't have time for drama. I just felt like you knew what this person did to me. You know what this person is trying to do to me. So why is staying an invite to even be your friend? Because I don't know what type of energy you're going to give me. God is good. All right, you have All the time. <laughs> Cause you cool with all of them, so you were just like in the middle of all of them. How did that make you feel? Like, were you trying to work it out and making them talk to each other, or you just like, uh, are they gonna figure it out? I, I mean, sometimes I do get caught up in the crossfire, okay. but I think for me in this season, I was worried about my own personal situation. Listen. So for everybody else, it's just kind of like, hey, if y'all work it out, y'all do. If not, you know, I'm I'm not sneaking doing no meetups. So I did Gardini and Martel last year. I was you like, no, sit down this season. no, 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 no. It won't be it won't be set up by me. Okay, okay. So we're gonna move on. We got another clip to take a look at. Let's take a look. So today is the day. It's my birthday party, my black and gold house party. So we just get to Cameron's party and we ready to turn up. We brought a bottle. We looking cute. We are not black and gold. And we walk in this like Crickets. Ciao. Where are the people? Did you enjoy yourself at the uh, premiere, the world premiere? Kids, we got to talk. It's more so like I didn't feel well. I'm trying to have a good time. I done got gussied up and then been guzzling drinks and all this other stuff. I want to have a great time. I just want you to know that I'm a real bitch. Right. And I'm with me. You gotta be real. I'm 100 
right now. And it's best that I leave, cause I'm finna slap me a bitch, and that's on everything. Cause I ain't got time for this fuck shit and all this this crazy stuff. Uh, uh, you can be around yeah. us. We're positive energy. We're not gonna give you all of that. Yeah, Honestly and like truthfully, that. and you my sister. Look, I I we're sisters, and I'm like, girl, y'all can't be goddamn sisters. Cause if that's your sister, that means she's my sister. When you take advantage of a point of somebody at an illness, sick, this place, and you're saying, oh, I, I, I helped him pay his bills. Baby, you did not help me pay anything. Even when I was out of work, I was still working. I had just blacked out. It was just so much going on. Now, I may not be put together all the time. You know, shit happens. But, bitch. Bitch. Don't be like you. <laughs> Just shut the f up, sit over there, drink your drink before you accidentally do a full twist off that f***ing chair of yours. Like, this ain't got shit to do with y'all. Yeah, we put that sleep bye. bye to you in the f ugly ass contact. Bye. 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 Girl, girl said she got into it with everybody in this motherfucker. Can you explain that? What's going on? People aren't used to a certain level of honesty. Okay. Um, people aren't, they're not used to people telling them the truth outright. Like, no one on this couch can ever catch me in anything, because if I said it once, I can say it again. Now, I'm going to still hug on you, and I'm going to still love you and kiss you on the cheek. Okay. But if you ask me my opinion, like I was asked, I'm going to say what I thought. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I just can't. Do so you keep it real when you in their face? All the time, okay. girl. All the time, I just have to girl. Nobody, nobody on this on this couch can can repeat anything that I haven't said to anybody or that I will not own up to. Cause that's it. Miss, my mama whooped my ass when I was a child for lying. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren England, what was your issue with not going to Cameron's party? The issue was we weren't cool at that time. Okay. You know, he tried to pop up with me last season. To, I mean, last year at the reunion show. So. The numbers was. Oh, yeah, she had said something about being in Dugan's. And she said, girl, you were texting about saving my seat. Mm -hmm. So just keep the pages away, try. I had to leave the numbers on my phone. I just wasn't there. Okay, girl. You know, I just didn't care. But you end up making it to the party. I end up making it because you know what? I said, I'm going to be a bigger person. You know, she's the bigger and better person. And you know, she's going to do a pop up anyway. Just I mean, that's just pop up. Bring life to the party. So were you surprised when she showed up to the party? I mean, you had extended the invitation at first. Yeah, because she said. Not to text you, Facebook. She Ooh. said what she said was on uh, actually text message, but no one right now. Oh, no. Yeah, but she said she couldn't make it. Oh, because you know you put up some receipts in the name of the child. Or whatever. So I took it as what it was, and she said she wasn't coming, so when she came. We were born. Yeah. Girl, what is this? y'all put in there? Girl, y'all have put up. And baby, let me tell y'all, I'll be watching y'all in the confessions with well, J. Twine. Girl, you be eating the girls up in the confessionals. What is the tea on that? Well, you know, <laughs> apparently you can't read the game the college, you know, so. Oh, girl. I just cut up to every now and then and show the girls that you actually can be smart. Well, the Morehouse men do let you know that. So, Olive, uh, we gotta come on to you, because, girl, you've been into it the whole cast, so. <laughs> girl, I'll be asking you a lot of questions. You and Kendra were having a spat, like, y'all was going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Girl, let me tell you, first of all. I was here for it, though. Let me tell you, so when I was going to Cameron's party, like, I'm thinking, you know, we about to Tootsie Roll. We about to have a good time. Girl, I was down to the Honeycutt Hardaway just drinking. Like, we were just throwing it back. Like, we about to go to this party. We about to Tootsie Roll. I ain't thinking I need to be in my right mind because stuff about to be happening. So you were not being transphobic? Transphobic? Yes. Like, girl, I toured a country with one of the biggest trans women in I'm the world. Girl, How am I transphobic? Girl, I so, no, so, so, wait, so, wait, so, 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 let me ask you this. So, let me ask you this. What, what did I say or do? that made me transphobic towards little Kendra. I cannot speak for that because I'm not a trans woman or a trans man, but I did hear from some that said that that did rub them the wrong way. You said that I don't know what she has between her legs. That did rub me the wrong way a little bit. That, me saying I don't know, but I don't know. That's me, that's me respecting her. But what is why we have a So I was like, well, she well girl, I don't know. Like, she I don't know. She what did you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we'll get to you. So I'm like, my thing is, she asked me that in the moment. There's a camera, there's a camera filming me. 
I don't know how to respond. I'm like, well, girl, she didn't tell me what she didn't okay. tell me because because some, some trans women correct. Some trans women live their life with their original genitalia. Okay. Other trans women do the full transformation. However, whatever they choose, they still want to be recognized as whatever they they have transferred to. Okay. So when she asked me what's between her legs, I'm like, well, girl, I don't know. She didn't tell me all that. She did not ask. That she asked, was this a girl or is, was it? A, is she a real girl? Yeah, it's a girl. 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 Y
Devon oh said he heard it from you. I mean, oh, wait, it came from you? Devon said it came from you. you. Well, if him and Devon oh, is cool and y'all work on a friendship, gosh. right? This is I believe it. I don't know why Cameron feels that way because when, when he was going through his chemo, I was helping him take care of his bills. So Devon and Sky went to Gardini and said that, that Q paid. No, 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 no. Cameron, please stop the lies. Cameron is the reason I had a falling out with Sky. Cameron is the reason that the, the reunion last year went a fool because of the lies. How are you going to believe the enemy of people who don't rock with me and believe them versus calling me on the phone? The person who was actually there to come see you, why not call me? All right, so so Q, how do you feel like hearing that right now? Does, does it make you feel bad that you said that? Or you was just a moment type of situation? You no, know, it doesn't make me upset that I said that because I still stand by what I said because when my grandmother was going through what she was going through, she didn't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. And when she slid out of here, it was just like, well, why didn't you tell nobody? Mm -hmm. And so all I was thinking was, we could have been there for you. You know, I come from, if you know nobody personally know me, I come from a very spiritual background. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, we could have been prayer warriors for you. We could have been there. We could have been whatever, just laid in bed, whatever you needed. Just a friend to call on. And I, that's what in the, that's what I want it to be for Cameron. I'm just like, I know how it feels to not want to share your personal stuff with everybody. We are filming a reality show. And the minute somebody gets something, they're either going to spray you with it or, you know what I'm saying, they just going to talk about you and, and, and don't give a fuck about you. So that's why I was like, off camera, let me be there for you because it's not about the show. You can lose your life, period, and you'll be, you'll be gone. And we'll all be walking around wearing rest in peace camera. Right. Peace camera shirts <laughs> from chasing that. Atlanta, we and we that. never cleared up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was just like, let me I'll forget everything. Let's. I guess the only thing I would say is that everybody deals with pain differently, mm -hmm. so you can't. Well, no, well, that's, you don't get a pass for that. Don't lash out at the person that's helping you. So I don't, I don't give. Yeah, I get that. But yeah. from him not sharing yeah. and saying anything. Like everybody is different. Everybody experiences pain different. Yeah, they do, but don't lash out at the one. I mean, you know. Well, like but, I said, I lash at my mama, and that's my mama. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just well, I couldn't. That's I couldn't mama, you know, but he's owning up to it, though. No, he is owning up to it. But I'm just, I'm just, I was correcting him. Like, mm -hmm. you don't get a pass for that. I respect. I respect him. Go off camera. Yeah. yeah. So with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, we're going to take a quick minute break. Oh, girl, I got a pee. Uh, okay. I'll be there. Y'all can get there. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We were born in the motherfucking room, and you are watching Chasing Reality, Chasing Atlanta. You know, we got the juice. You girls should subscribe right, right now. now so that you can see more of us. You know, my crazy ass, you see Berlin, you know. Unbothered ass. Unbothered ass. And you know, we can just keep on keeping it coming. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bitches wanna see more? Y'all know y'all bitches wanna see more. You love to hate us, but we're still here. So come see more. Come on, see more. We are back and we are joined with the mothers, boyfriends, and everything above <laughs> on the couch. Girl, we about to get to it. So I would like to introduce to you all Oliver Twist and Mother Twist. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren England and Q. You and Busy, aka So today I've invited my mom out to come have brunch with me. I haven't seen her in a while. She lives here in Atlanta, actually, and works in law enforcement. She's done it all my life. Um, and I just wanna catch up with her, see her beautiful face, let her know what I've been up to, and just kinda just unload on her and all the things that I've been going through lately. Hey, what's going on? Did you have fun? So today I have my best friend out, and my best friend is my father. I'm super excited to see my dad today, only due to the fact of he gets to see me around a different caliber of friends. I had to call, make a quick phone call to my dad because I feel like me and my dad's relationship is still kind of rocky because I can't fully be who I am. And right now I'm more in England. I want him to accept that, and I just want our relationship to be right. So I'm a product of a single family home. My mom and dad had a really bad breakup. Um, 
one day when she decided she didn't want to be with him anymore, he actually got in his truck and ran his truck through the apartment trying to hit her and trying to kill her, which he did hit her. I had overheard her talk so negatively about people who were gay and things like that. So I was afraid to tell her. Um, I really didn't have an outlet. You know, our heteronormative people, as they're growing up, they're able at five years old to take candy over to La Susie and love Valentine's, things like that. And they can go on play dates and they can invite her to the little school dance. Us gay people, we, didn't, we don't have that luxury growing up. You know, you was one of the first people who I told about my lifestyle change, you know, and I appreciate you for that because a lot of people in the gay lifestyle don't have their fathers and don't have, you know, a male figure who actually support what they do. And I appreciate you for that. A lot of people in the LGBT don't have their parents. And then 50% has their mother and their father does not approve. So for me to have both parents just love me for who I am, I couldn't ask for a better gift from God. You know, Kay, we should get another name. And I am branching off to this new name to come out with this clothing line, this lip gloss, perfume, everything women. Everything what? For women. So all of it's gonna be called Lauren England. I changed my Instagram name to Lauren England. And I want to fully go into like providing women's clothing, shoes. So that's part of like what I do. When women see me dressed a certain way, they say, wow, I want those shoes. Wow, I want this shirt. Wow, I want those pants. Okay, wow, well, I want when, when you let that be what you're telling me, do that what you're telling me and not tell me something that ain't true. Hearing that, you know, he supports me in all of the things that I do from business to and who I am and who I am becoming, I feel like it's only right as a child that when you are, when you're reaching a higher level of success, you're supposed to take care of your family. And just everything that I've done from then until now, it just makes me appreciate more and more of what I do on an everyday basis. And this just being who I am and actually taking pride in being a business owner and actually making things happen in this LGBT community that I am in. So how was it for you, Lauren England, to come out to your father and share that moment with him? Um, it was kind of hard to come out to him um, only because it, I, don't, I don't think that it wasn't he didn't know. Mm -hmm. I think it was more so he didn't want to accept. Okay. And growing up, just hearing him saying like he would disown me and different things like that, I was more so afraid because since I've been in this world, my dad has completely taken care of me. He has been supportive in any idea, anything that I've ever wanted to do. So I didn't want to lose that from him. How did he take when you told him that you were changing your name? Did he have a lot of questions for you? Um, we kind of already had like a conversation, like conversation, like here and there. But I don't think he was really. I don't think he took it serious. <laughs> but he was very acceptive to what I was telling him, and what I very much told him was is what it is. I'm not transitioning or anything. That's just what I want to do, who I want to be. And I feel like he accepted that at that moment. over to Oliver Twist and his mother. Um, you said that you came out when you were younger, where you were pushed out. Mm -hmm. And she saw some clips and stuff. Um, and then you also, we found out that your mother um, admitted that she was, you know, or, or bisexual, where you, no. you identified as bisexual? Or just, just gay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So how did that feel, make you feel about your mother coming out to you? I mean, <laughs> at the time, it's very funny. Um, girl, I've always been a smart girl, like you can get nothing past me. So like, can I say, like, can I just hit around? Okay, so like, so like, my, the, the woman my mom was dating, I was her personal assistant at the time. Oh. So you didn't know that she was dating? No, 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 no. So like, I was her personal assistant, I was working 10 hours a week, this is while I was in high school, working 10 hours a week, okay. and I was like handling all her traveling, her books, her checks, and stuff like that. Uh -oh. So so she'll be like, Oliver, can you book, um, can you book, you know, on this little flight here and there? So I'm like, oh, okay, well, what's the name I need to book it for? She'll be like, my mom's gonna come across, so I'm like, how old were you? Oh, girl, what was it, like 15, 15? Okay, okay. okay. She's grown. always worked, she's always been working. Yes, yeah. she's always been working. So when she finally like mustered up the strength to tell me, it really meant so much to me, and I felt like 
that was like the final connect that me and her needed to like be on the path that we are now because like I didn't have to lie to her about anything. She didn't have to lie about. She didn't have to lie to me about anything. And it, it like it was just it was just amazing. Like yeah. So when she showed you the tattoo, did they did bring some tears to your eyes? Oh my god, yeah, it really did. It really did. Look at you showing some heart. <laughs> so Q, we're gonna move over to you. Um, you shared some moments with your father, and you shared that your father was like supportive, but you needed more. How was that? Did you? What were you trying to get from your father that you did not get? My parents were hard. My parents were very tough. They did not play. But my parents' thing was, we're not raising no faggots in this house. Wow. We're not raising no sissies. You know, so that's how harsh that they talk to us. The both. Uh, so when you say do you, when you say spiritual, do you mean like y'all were Christians or? Yeah, we were, we were very Christian. Like I was in church eight days out of the week, and it's only seven. Right. So, like, we was in there all the time. So, like, that's just, that's where it came from. But um, my father was in my home, but he was, you know, he got that old school mentality. He was a provider. And I came out to my parents um, now, two years ago, right before, right, I did, right. Right before I did Chase in Atlanta. Has he met your boyfriend? Ooh. Not yet. It's kind of um, you know, working on it. Before, but they, they, they actually do talk a lot on the phone. Like, he asks about them all the time. I just want to make sure that, you know, things are, because I just, if, if, if I'm going to do it, I'm not bringing 10,000 people home. Yes. You know, so if we going to be bringing somebody home, we're going to make sure we lock in and we're ready to go. When it done. Okay. Yes. All right. Show me I, I would say that for me, I am 31 years old and I'm now in a place where I'm able to talk to my parents about me being in a relationship, and that means a lot. Like, I cannot tell you, especially considering your age and stuff, like, there were moments I could not say some things. I would have to change the name or something. Girl, I'm paying my own bills. I ain't got time for that. Yeah. Ain't, I'm not doing none of that. And that's what I, I waited until I was an adult. Say, like, seeing you this season, I am very much proud of you. Because, <laughs> girl, I was scared. Girl, you seem like you was like, uh-uh, I'm fucking big age kids. So, but now I'm seeing you. Like share your story. I'm like, girl, she was. She was like, I don't do none of that. We didn't even know that. Uh, I think the, the long question was, was you gay? Like, gay. like we didn't know nothing. So, do y'all have anything that y'all want to tell y'all parents, y'all loved ones right now, um, considering how much they've supported you all and y'all growth and stuff? Y'all should share a moment. I mean, it's pride mine to see like all of you all have sat down with your parents and stuff. Like. Send a message to him. Tell, him. tell your mother right now how much you appreciate her being in your life. Well, to me, being gay, I always felt like I was always gay, like from a child. Like I just always had a natural, like a natural attraction to men. And it's like as I'm growing older and certain hormones are being released in my body, Come on, I'm, I'm being real. My dick is getting hard. All right. Stuff like that. Pure, but, but no, but these are the, con the kind of conversations that parents have to have with their gay children. Absolutely. Because when they don't have these conversations with their gay children, that you find your child on the website. You find your child in a chat room. You find your child on these apps hooking up with people that, that they can relate to because they can't find that solace at home. Well, we want to thank all of the cast, our family members, and love ones out here. You did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the clip. Hi! What's going on, y'all? First, want to thank you so much for coming with me to Florida. I will be staying in the master bedroom. We were born, you guys will be staying in this room. Kendra and Wayne for pain, you will be staying in this room. No, the fuck I won't. So since Oliver doesn't want to give me a room that I motherfucking paid for, you're going to come to us Twitter for real, for real, bitch, because we about to fuck this shit up. Your bed, the whole nine yards, bitch. When you come in here, you're going to have to sleep in some motherfucking shit. Oh, I'm like, oh my God, yeah, right. 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 Welcome to my wedding, Oliver. <laughs> because of Oliver, Oh, wait, 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 because of Oliver, your energy was a little off. I seen Oliver antagonizing you when he was saying to you, give me a hug. I'm like, if I don't fuck with you, why are you asking for a fucking hug? Let me tell you something. You see what I'm saying? A I'm fake with bitch you. is something that I ain't never been, ain't gonna be, none of that shit. I just want 
want to drag his big ass, honestly. I had a conversation on the phone with you. I told you not to talk about it. What did I say about you? You're telling them that, that I'm fucking. Said. You're telling them that I'm fucking production. How to me? How can I come up with this? Hey, who the hell you been saying it? Gardini's a goddamn lie. Cause Gardini said it to me and make jokes about it. Last night, Tony I'm gonna zap this bitch. Tony Mike, zapping bitch. I'm gonna zap this bitch. Tony Mike, zapping bitch. I'm gonna zap this bitch. You think I'm bad? You think I'm bad? So the way that Oliver Twist is set up, I would ever stoop so low to physically engage a dumb, ugly, crater face, old, uneducated, emotionally immature, mentally unstable, disenfranchised, opportunistic bitch that looks, smells, appears like J. Tuan. Gardini just sat on the phone the other day and told me this out of his mouth. I didn't know you, nor did I know anybody a part of this team before I joined. I don't care what that girl do with her coochie, her dick, her mouth, who she whores with, who she sleeps with, to get any opportunity that's under my goddamn business. Cause what she sucking fuck don't make me nut. So even though we had an emotional moment, we had a chance to see y'all go to Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Broward County, not Miami. Okay. <laughs> It was the plantation. Girl, and then the girls gonna stay home in Atlanta when they pay bills. But you let it just spend money to We also paid bills to be there too. We paid. You did. Everybody did. We paid. We paid. I paid a little extra so the trip can still be going off. Yeah. But you ain't pay for me, bitch. I didn't say I did. Okay, we'll keep it cute. I didn't say I wanted to. Okay. Be. What's your issue with me? I don't have issues with okay, you. Okay, well, you stay me. right there. No, you stay right there. I'm right here. Okay, baby, bop. Keep it cute. Keep it cute, baby. Wait, 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 keep it cute. Wait, wait, I'm not baby bop today. Yes, you are. Baby bop. Yes, you are. Baby bop. Keep it cute. No, you keep it cute, baby bop. I look gorgeous, baby. Where? You look dead. Girl. You look like Fantasia, girl. Girl, and wait, listen. Fantasia, look at me too. Girl, she very much with the Bitter sweet teas. Bitter sweet teas. Yeah, bitter. bitter. When I think about you, you look sweet. a mess. Ooh. Girl. I'm just trying to figure out who paid for the trip. Like, right. Hold on, stop. She I'm got hostile because I said stop. I paid just so the truth can continue to go right. out. Now, that is true. Thank you. So no, 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 no. When did you ever get hear me get on camera and say I paid for the girls? Girl, I don't roll like that. But you didn't say you paid for the girls. You said it was. Let me finish, y'all. Let me finish. I am being honest. Let me finish. Wait. I invited production. I said, y'all, I'm going. I'm about to Tootsie Roll to Miami. I would love for the cast to come with me. They said, perfect, Oliver. We're, we are going to take care of where we're staying and all those other things. I had no say in all those things. Production, because that's their job. This is Chasing Reality Atlanta. They chose a house, and they told all the people, this is what you have to pay. This is what you have to pay. This is what you have to pay. Now, after the trip was done, I found out that Miss Lauren England, the big rich bitch, you know, she's rich. Absolutely. She had paid a substantial amount more for the trip to go on because other people could not pay and or have backed out. And they was going to cancel it. And, I and they were going to cancel it. So it sounds like y'all know who didn't have a coin. Oh girl, I don't know. I wasn't in that meeting. The yeah. girls that came well, a had- A lot of people didn't come. A lot of people didn't come. I can see why you had to pay the rest. Okay. If you chose to do that, that's so what you chose to, to do. To go. I didn't say I had to pay y'all. I didn't, I didn't I didn't want to pay y'all here. So don't direct it to me. I didn't not. say you did. I could care less if okay, y'all came. Okay, so that's clear. Let's Let's moving on. on. Let's go. I just would have had to Move along. <laughs> move along. <laughs> move along. Well, so I'm, I'm gonna be a little messy. Did y'all pay any money for the trip? Or? We, paid. we paid for our trip, and we paid pay for almost everything we did in the trip. T.S. Madison didn't give us no free tickets. T.S. Madison didn't hook a bitch up for coming to the show. We paid for everything we did and participated in I'm on that trip. I'm Period. No, but no. No, but you invited no, no, us to I'm Miami. I'm talking to Justin because Justin made the look. Yeah, you made it seem like you made it seem you, the performance was it was all of a twist. First of all, vacation. Why the fuck would I dig in my wallet, which I have many times on and off camera? Girl, I'm, I, let me finish. I did not interrupt you, so let me finish. Girl. Why would I? Why would I dig in my little piggy bank and pay for girls? When I got to my anyhow, all this shit set up for me. Cause I was going to treat them. I'm like, oh y'all girl, no, Kobe, y'all hoes wanna come to the show? Girl, y'all bitches stay. But see, Cause girl, I, I girl, see. hold on, hold on. T at the time, girl, <laughs> they wasn't they was girl, she yeah, it was cheap. I mean, Wait, but I now I mean, but I mean, 
I girl, at that time, girl, I walked into the house. Girl, my room was fucked up. I walked into the house, bitch. A bitch was throwing electricity at me. I walked into the house. Jalen <laughs> Aaron White. Girl, lightning was coming up, girl. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Oh, but, oh, trust. 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 Kendra was sitting there like, um, Kendra said she was sitting there looking like Mystique. Bitch, she was storm. And bitch, I could have been Magneto. Because Melo was just... Girl, please. Okay. So, why would I why would I reach into my wallet and pay for people who've, who've been mistreating me? Why? Why would I? That's stupid. That's stupid to me. Because you never intended to do it in the first place. Big die. That's why. Okay. She speaks. She speaks to hear. Uh, you know she speaks. She's over here several times, honey. Girl, she's Where they, where they show up now? They she spoke to you several times. She spoke to both of you several times. Think about it. The thing about it is, 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 the thing Let's, let's calm it or down. stand up, do something. So when you girl, all ask the question, please. Well, y'all didn't ask the question. Y'all made a yes, statement. They're, they're kick ass. ass. That's what they are. Come on, y'all. They're kick ass. Well, we're gonna kick today, girl. Bitch, I look way better than you. Oh, any day, bitch. Oh, any day. Oh, any day. Hey, hey, my girl. What the fuck, girl? Look at you. You look hell. I never came for your appearance. I never came for your appearance. You are. No, you are taking my appearance. The broke bitch invited. We never said that. Well, y'all said, said no the girl that invited us can't afford Miami. Yeah, but that's what we said. We didn't say broke bitch. Don't put words well, in our mouth. The girls couldn't afford in Miami. That. That's what we said. So, so, so who were y'all talking about when y'all said that? With the, uh, girl, the girl, I was the girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have never, ever 
heard me spray y'all in a live or in the interview. If I've ever had Oliver, shut the, the fuck up. You You're on. fucking lying as fuck. Hold on. You are lying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mom. Stop. Stop. Mom. Stop. Stop. Mom. Stop. Stop. Mom. Stop. Mom. Stop. 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 Shows. I said something to her. Yeah, I said something to her in Miami about her view. You are the most ridiculous person in my head. Just pay it. 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 Girl, please. Every time I've ever, it's no shit. Every time I ever did a thing with you, Oliver, I wasn't impressed. Keep Not about you physically. Keep going. No shit. And this, you probably can say the same for me. So, I'm pretty sure. Let's do this. You are terrible. Let's do this. You cannot dress. No, no, no. You can't. And you want to attack my appearance. Take all the twists. Let's take me out. Take me out. Take me out. This is. This is. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Can we move along, please? But the people get to finally see what really the fuck goes on. He keeps on instigating shit and instigating shit. And when you say something, it's all stop just when you're doing too much. Oh, no, no, no. Shut the fuck up and move along. Give an example. Period. Give an example. Give an example. Just now, bitch. Okay, I'm going to ask the question because I want y'all to shut the fuck up for me, please. So I want to talk about the mosquito shit because bitch was about to get zapped. What was going through your mind when J1 pulled out the tape and was about to tape? Did you feel like you was about to get zapped? No. He did not feel like he was gonna get taken. He didn't feel like that. So a conversation that me and Jay Twan had pre after the scene. Right. He finished to me. I'm not. She said, because she actually had quit the show. She had quit the show. I did. And she said she felt some sort of way that every time she entered into a scene, it was always about Oliver and Kendra and things like that. She said to me, so she felt the need to try to do something. This is what you said, girl. I'm not Oliver, girl, if you go. Where's the receipts? Girl, Bitch, girl, stop fucking lying. lying. You are the most motherfucking manipulous bitch on the earth. You are a liar. You are a liar. You need to try to have to turn up and get you Okay. He's lying. You're a liar. I said it. I said it. I said it, y'all. I said it. Y'all believe this shit? I said it. He'll do anything for a moment. He's a motherfucking liar. He's a motherfucking liar. Girl. Okay. Bye. I said it. <laughs> so, James Wan, yes. is it true that you were speaking with production? No. Where did that role come from? I don't know. I, I dated. Because you had friends. What'd she you say? Where it came from? Where it came from? Okay, so. Shane the Devil. Ooh, child. So, I dated somebody on production prior to being on the show. Okay. And. When I guess this was prior to the show, like how before the show was it before that you knew you was going to be on the show? Yes. Okay. But things kind of, you know, when you date somebody, you just hang out with them frequently, chill, and then people heard through the grapevine that we were hanging out or that I was on the show, and so I guess from Oliver's stories that Gardini said it to him, and it just was it spread. That's but not what I said. What did That's you say? Not what, I said. what did you say? That is not, I say I'm asking. I'm asking. You asked me who told me. No, 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 no. You actually didn't ask me anything. When you right. accused me in Miami that I was the one that was spreading, I said, and you told me who were the ones that came back and told right. me. Right. I was like, well, girl, them the girls that had told me about it. Okay, but wait, can I say something? Go ahead. Okay, so one thing that me, you and can agree on is that there was other parties that did tell me that you said it, right? That's all I want. A yes or no. So, so, so what they, what they did not say that I told them that. What they said was, me and my friend had a conversation, and right. my friend decided to go back and take our conversation outside of our friendship. That's from their business. Right. They said, "Well, girl, I heard that um, Jay Tom was doing this." I said, "Well, girl, Gardini did tell me that they do that they was doing that." I, that conversation never left me and my friend. And my friend decided to come back and tell you that her and I had a conversation. That's on them. But never once did I pick up the phone and call. Nobody in this group was like, child, you know, you know, um, you know that Jay Twan is hunching, um, hunching production, all the other shit. Let's even go back to that week. Right. Let's 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 go back to that week to leading up to Miami. You and I sat on the phone because right. it had been contentious with the group since like the whole Christmas thing and all that. You and I sat on the phone for hours. I said, and the consensus that you and I came up to was that if anything happens between you and I, let's get on the phone and let's talk. During that phone conversation, you was like, well, girl, I'm pretty sure you already know about me and Kevon. And I said, girl, girl, I don't know <laughs> nothing about you and Kevon. She said, well, girl, I know people talking about it and stuff like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. 
me knowing anything about J. Twan and a member of production, my initial entrance to it came from J. Twan. I said, well, girl, they ain't got shit to do with me. You need to keep your business to you and your man, whatever y'all got going on, da 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 Fast forward, my next entry to that was Gardini. Me and Gar I was packing up my bag, packing up all my clothes, and Gardini was like, well, girl, you know Jay Twan and the member of production, girl, they went for ice cream, and they used to sleep over and stuff like that. We never went for ice cream. Hold on, let me finish, let me finish. No, because I'm getting to it. But they I'm getting to it. But he's just so embellishing. Like, he's just girl, adding on to the girl, story. Girl, you know, girl, 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 you know, they done been on dates and they done spent the night together. I said, well, girl, that got shit to do with me. Leave that with leave that with them. My very next talking to anybody was that Saturday. Touch it down in in, in, in Broward County Plantation. So when you see me coming to the scene, it's like, well, you said, I'm like, girl, girl, what is you talking about? And the shit that still boggles me to this moment is you did all that on camera, but you and that member of production was hugged up the whole time we was down there. Y'all was hugged up. We were late shooting a scene for me and fucking Anita because y'all two were on a date. We were and not on a date. Finish. What are you when, talking about? What was that? Was that Saturday or Sunday? When I walked out and I did a survey of every room, when I did a survey of every room, because I wake up very early. I think everybody <laughs> don't cast enough that I wake up like six o'clock in the morning. I went to every room. I opened one door, cameraman right there. Open one door, Dario right there. I opened another door, Kendra was in her bed by herself. So I said, where the fuck is mom? Girl, my rent. Girl, I said, well, where the fuck is Wayne the pain at? No, Girl, no, I turned no, the corner. No, Berlin, no. Berlin is on the couch looking just like this, sleep. I said, well, why the fuck Berlin not here? Girl, I go, I go into the sunroom, Wayne the pain, and the other little cameraman was hard up. Girl, that's said, busy. I shit to do with me. Girl, I go into the other room. It's not, it's not. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I go into the other room. I go into the other room. I see J. Twan in the middle of the I'm like, girl, I'm out This is Oprah Twist telling you to subscribe to the Chase and Reality YouTube channel. Be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 7 to see my crazy ass on y'all screen doing what I do and you know I'm going to do it well. Be sure to find Oprah Twist on all things streaming because a bitch is putting out quality, good shit for your ears. Stay locked, stay tuned, y'all hoes better stay ready. Because <laughs> we coming, we coming. Of y'all returning back to Atlanta. Hey! I'm kind of lost. Why you didn't get invited to Miami if, if he was performing? I was supposed to go to Miami, but you know I don't fuck with J Law, and I feel as if that right. if I don't fuck with somebody, I'm not gonna say you're not supposed to fuck with that person, but you're supposed to have that same energy as me. So it's kind of shocking to me that I'm sitting here now where we were born, and they're giving me this tea that. My supposedly friend and sister was instigating a situation with Jaylon back in Miami. First of all, you didn't invite me to Miami because you knew that Jaylon was gonna be there. And if I'm your friend and this is a big booking for you, bitch, you don't think you should wanna invite me yourself? You were even trying to fuck with my best friend so you can't even get on the show. What? I'm just too much. This is yeah, crazy. so I would think, you know, Oliver being a Morehouse graduate and all, that he would have a little bit more cool. But clearly, he was paying more attention to in um, Homewrecking 101. Hello, where is the Hello, people? motherfuckers. Hello, darling. I will be bleeding. Is it true that you had relations with Devon's ex-boyfriend when he was with you? Now, you know, in this moment, I don't know if I should feel disrespected. <laughs> so, I heard Gardini had a invite to the party tonight. What happened? I heard he got uninvited. We are having a good time. Why in the hell are you asking me anything about Gardini in this moment? Let me go. Let me the fuck go. Let me the fuck go. I don't give a fuck about chasing. I don't give a fuck about Atlanta. I don't give a fuck about reality or Dallas. I don't give a fuck. His Mr. Potato motherfucking head looking ass got some goddamn nerve to even even, wait, you don't even look like Mr. Potato Head. You like an upside down Mr. Potato Head. Press me on my shit about nobody. 
Period! Your shit is crooked and lopsided and you got a goddamn nerve to motherfucking sit there and say anything about what goes on in my house. I'm a grown ass man. I can be friends with who I want to be friends with. I just you and it. yeah, and when he when he when he took daggers at me and mine, and he his concern was he felt like I invited him and I uninvited him because of you. You came to our house because you were invited. Right. And knowing your friend was uninvited. Why would you go to bed? You accused me of being his best friend. Why would you go to bed? I accused you of being his best friend. I said y'all talk. And it wasn't and like, you, oh, and you were stimulated to the fact of, oh, like no, I was No, what I said friend. was that they've been on the phone. <sighs> When these two start talking, I done pulled a whole Ray J moment. I done came out the earmuffs, done turned the hat around, I done pulled my jacket off. The only thing I hear from these two is yep, 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 Here come Berlin, we finally hear something from her this whole time that we've been hanging out. Here she comes with her dry link up and waving this mop wig, waving that dry finger. Bitch, it is freezing. I have on a two piece of Gucci sweater. Bitch, it is motherfucking cold. Can we not take this shit somewhere else? Maybe like somewhere inside with heat. Q, you drag this shit out of the girl. <laughs> Gardini, how are you and Oliver's friendship as of now? There's no friendship. None? No. No relationship? But y'all are sisters. No, she's always been my sister. See, my thing is, you don't have to like your family, but you deal with them. So my thing is, I felt like being a sister, you know, you were trying to be sisters with everybody else on the cast before you even knew who the fuck they were. So if I was your sister, you should have rolled with the winning team instead of trying to make frenemies. See, the thing is that when you're cloud chasing, you'll do anything to make it to the top. And that's what the girls do. Paula, do you have a response to that? You know what? I actually agree with her about something. I will. Um, I'm, See, very, no, 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 I'm very vocal about things I feel like Arvini has done that I agree with. I'm very vocal about things that I feel like she has done that I do not agree with. Mm -hmm. Me and Gardini have always had those open conversations where I'm like, I'll be like, girl, I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't, I can't support you in something that I do not believe in. Because mm -hmm. I would be, I, I would be doing you a, a, a disservice as a friend if I was just aging on the things that I know are crazy. She is right. So and you girl, agree? So you right. agree with her? You agree with Gardini saying that you would try to make friends, but you don't agree with the cloud chasing? Girl, past, present, or future. Survey the room in this couch. What does anyone present? And I did not just spend it on those platforms. They worked hard. But past, present, or future, anyone sitting on this couch that I do not have, can I get, or already have accomplished? See, the that's no shame. The, that's the, no my shame. Definition of that's no shame. Chasing on, is about, it's, it was about what you can afford or what you don't have or whatever, whatever. I my de about my definition is currently, when you started off as Oliver Twigs, you were on YouTube with 73 views. You can't- When did I ever have 73 views on you anything, girl? Views. On what? On what video? All your music videos. Are you lying? You came Are you lying? The girl, my panda video had 3,000 views as first been of all. Justin James reviewed you it. Justin James. I'm not going to be wrong. King of Reeves. King of Reeves. She had a whole two hours to talk. Now, I just want to make 73 So, girl, you gave 73 my ass. So, where are you going to get 73 on the road? Trust me. No, no, no. I have 73. She Are you trying to say that she bought the other thousand? She had 73 <laughs> views on YouTube. I have she goes on live begging people to get her to a thousand views. Congratulations, you got to a thousand views. But that's the definition of cloud chasing to me. My thing is, even with the season when everybody says this, it's the Oliver show, it is the Oliver show because in real life, everybody has things that they're going, they got going on, and we work, you know, no offense, you know, we work and we are working. So we don't have time to be making up scenes for production on their availability. That's what I mean when I say clout chasing. So I mean production. Speak on it. Speak on it. Production is busy as well because they have lives. And my thing is, the reason you don't see what the fuck I do is because I'm not gonna conjure up any scene at my house, cook dinner, at the park, for no airtime. Because you don't need nine scenes to be a star. You only need two minutes. And I'm done. Thank oh, you. Period. 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 Point blank. We didn't know anybody. We didn't know anybody. We were open. We were open. And then that scene that we filmed with Gardini, he wasn't supposed to be in that scene. Okay. Q sprung that up on us. Y'all didn't know that. Okay, so Q. That's a lie. 
That's definitely a lot. Production. Gardini. Well, I, 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 Gardini. We hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we when, when I act before Oliver started doing my videos, who filmed my videos? I know. Thank you. So while so while we do a scene, the, 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 the purpose of the scene, let me talk, I'll let you talk. The purpose of the scene was You didn't let me do anything. Oh. Period. Ooh. The purpose of the scene was because it, it, whatever energy, let's let's say this. Whatever energy y'all want to do, we can do. It. Yes, we can. No, because you didn't let me do it. Period. Period. So you need so to. So the purpose of whatever the fuck you want to give, the we can give it. The purpose of the the hold on hold on hold. The purpose of the scene was, and, and I don't give a fuck either. Period. I don't give a fuck either. Shut the fuck up. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? He's acting. You're acting. You're acting. You're acting. You're acting. You're acting. You like the clown. I do. And you like the clown. Anyway, girl. Shut the fuck up, girl. Shut the fuck up. What's up? What? What? Shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Don't touch me. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to the purpose of the scene was. You know, I'm about to drag your ass all through pieces. Oh, 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 what's up? Oh, bitch, bitch, as soon as you change, you let me know where you at. We bitch, I ain't gotta change. Bitch. Anyway, oh, y'all can do my house shoes, girl. That's your name. Anyway, anyway. Hey, you, girl. Y'all gonna be fine, girl. Anyway, it's too hot. Y'all gonna be fine. Brother, what you doing? Brother, what you doing? Do I need to talk to you? Talk to you a little bit. The purpose of the scene was to do what? Show that you work, and I was like, okay, Gardini, you ain't filming with nobody, girl. At least let me bring you around some new people. I I want to. Okay, but then again, I need. I told you what you need to show people what you do. Right. But that's not even really the real scene. The real scene. We're I, supposed have, to be I already spoken to Jay Twan prior to this scene. My thing is. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on, because you said you did what you spoke to him prior, right? right I spoke to my thing is I'm I'm kind of sad that Jay Twan in Berlin says that I like. Thank you. Um, Clear, Jaylen, brother. Jalen is the one that supports them. My thing is. Before I even got on this show, I didn't have the point. You said I didn't even talk she to you. Was just very nice to very nice to y'all. But my thing is, I was nice to y'all. Before I even met y'all, I was reposting y'all music. I love y'all music. Same thing for me. I love y'all music. I was reposting. No, no, hear me out. I was reposting y'all music. I was supporting y'all. I was going. I was putting likes. I was like re-recording, making everybody else repost y'all shit. I haven't seen Jay Long repost y'all thing one time. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Can I say something? I like y'all. Can I say something? 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 Can I were you and Jay Twan, were y'all or were y'all not having previous conversations before they went to my end? Yeah, I was talking to Jay Twan for that. Oh, but because when he got that. on camera, but see, no, I asked Jay Twan, I asked Jay Twan that I want to sit down with Jay Twan because Oliver uh, supposedly. Hold on, don't twist it, brother. Hold on. And then oh, when, 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 the, 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 the scene with me and you outside, what did they do? They, they, hold on. They tried to go so in the bed. don't see what they did. That's no, the video. exactly. Show me that shit, show me love, show me, show me love, show me that shit, show me love, show me, show me love, wobble on the dick, wobble up, wobble, wobble up, wobble on the dick, wobble up, wobble, wobble up. Hello, New York. Hi, finally here, y'all. Y'all do not know how much I'm so excited. Like, I'm literally so excited. So we are finally here. Me and Montel is in New York, baby. We are here to slay the lands. I don't know about the showcase fashion color this time. I'm actually showcasing me as a stylist and me, ha you know, styling the host of the show. I'm so excited, y'all. Overall, it was a great experience because this is my first year here in New York Fashion Week. I'm thinking if I want to be here or not. What's wrong? I'm, I'm literally like three seconds from what happened? walking out. What happened already? Roy feels that I guess some things have been said or he's heard some things, <clears throat> I guess through the grapevine or something, which I had no knowledge of. I'm not going to say who said it because they're not here. I'd rather them be there so it'll be like boom, 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 boom. So if, if nobody, if it wasn't said, right. it wasn't said, then it could be like, it could be dead. That's one of the reasons why I really haven't been a one-on-one -on -one moment with Oliver because you are the company that you keep right. and certain situations I've been hearing that you've been just rubbing people wrong and I'm like I'm in a good space right now right. you know what I'm saying tell and your friends to watch it because y'all think I'm boring but baby you don't want this show because if you want a show I can give you well, a you show know that even Oliver knows that I don't really want to be around that person right now until I have a conversation with him so I honestly feel like it was a setup and I'm just really kind of just hashing out my feelings right now to Cameron but Eventually, it'll all get settled. We're gonna all talk about it, because you know me. I'm going to the stores. I'm not going to the next bitch, period. 
it's like Oliver's your good girlfriend, so I feel like y'all might not need to have a conversation to see what was said because it's a lot of he say, she say stuff. And from my experience of what happened between me and Q, I really feel like that you need to go to your friend, talk to him, and see what's going on. For somebody that was there through on a trying period of my life, mm -hmm. and you go back and tell other girls that you were paying my bills per se, who's gonna really fabricate some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's petty. Right. And for you to take that out of spite and use something against me that's gonna hurt me like that, mm -hmm. it's like, girl, I don't have nothing to do with you at all. Like, I don't wanna talk to you, I don't wanna see you, I don't wanna work with you, I don't wanna do any of that. I don't even wanna be around you. Right. I won't even breathe the same air as you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. I guess word got back to Montel about the whole Q situation about him supposedly paying for my bills while I was going through my chemo treatment. I felt like it was very some bull that was going on. I was really hurt by it. But you know, it's neither here nor there. Until I see Q and talk about it, I really don't give a fuck. Period. So with that being said, we just got to be seeing a clip. And I have a question for Montel. We haven't seen you much this season. What's going on, girl? Paris Fashion Week, September 28th, for Michigan. Yeah. So, Troy, what was your issue with Gardini? Well, my issue at the time with Gardini was the fact that he didn't know me. So, my thing is, if you don't know me, don't make a judgment of me before you know me. What judgment was made? Well, he was saying that I was boring and that, you know, what did I bring to the show? This is his show, so why am I on his show technically? That, that's what I was told. So my thing is, if you feel that way about me, why not come to me and let's have a discussion? Why not, why, why not let's talk about it before you say these things out of put it in the air? Because at the end of the day, you don't know me. And as well as anybody seeing, like on my live, like when you see me on social media, I'm not just some boring, you know, some boring person. I just don't be in everybody's face and I don't got time to be in everybody's face and, and doing all that. So when, when I'm around everybody, I sit back. Because if any of my friends will tell you, majority of my friends are girl, I got one gay best friend. I don't really hang around boys like that because they miss me. Montel, Cameron, and Troy, you recently went live and talked about how Ooh. fake Oliver and Jalen were. How you, you said they were being fake. Mm -hmm. What do y'all mean by that? Well, for me, my situation was, um, well, one with Oliver, because first he, he, I don't know if y'all caught it, but it was kind of shady when he said that everybody on the cast was doing their thing and they were up and, you know, blowing up or whatever. He named everybody on, on the show except for me, one. Two, um, my thing is when they said that, um, when they said that, um, also when they said when him and Jaylon were talking, they were talking about doing, I mean, Lauren, I'm sorry, Lauren, when they said that they were about the job situation and, you know, us clocking in, she first said that, you know, she applauds me for work clocking in and doing my thing, but then she turned around and said, contradicted herself and said, well, this show, should, you should be showing your, you what should be you showing what, what you do every day. And and said, wait, 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 let me no, finish. I said that first. But and then I said the only person that did that no, was true. That was no, you said first, you, the first. Well, we, I probably missed the truth. Yeah, because yeah, me and my, you, me and my. You hung out outside of the exactly, I know, you, and that's so what I'm saying. And that's what, that's I'm what, good. that's Can what. First of all, sis, calm down. Because that's what I'm, you let me get out what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that what you said offended me at the time. That's what I said on the live. I said, if you, I said if you didn't, I said if you didn't, no. There's no point in me calling because y'all do everything for, no. Y'all do everything for YouTube. Y'all do everything for the show. for you. Yes, because if that, if that was, if that was, if that was, if that wasn't the case, then you could have you could, said, you could have said that to me. You You're right. Said that to me. Yeah, I know. You're you right. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry.
show show what you're doing outside of work. What I'm doing what I'm doing outside of work is working to put money into the different things that I'm trying to do. So don't sit there and say, okay, well you you applied me for this and then turn around and say, well you should be showing your struggles, not 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 working pretty much. Like you should be showing what you you know what you're doing outside of work as far as style and stuff. But I am I am I don't show that because at the end of the day when I'm working. They don't have they don't have time to, to film when it's when, when it's their time. So at the end of the day, my thing is don't say don't say those things and get you to, like I said, you never know who you're thinking. So the only, the only thing I will say on that is that we have to be very, very careful as entrepreneurs, business, whatever you want to call it this week. Troy, Troy, let me say this. When you when you came across and you said that you were offended by that, he really was confused. He did not mean that that way. He really no, this is what I'm saying. He no, really, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. He, 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 was, he really felt like. Right. Right. So while they figured it out, we're going to take a look at this clip and be right back. Right Bitch, you better put your motherfucking hand out. Cause I ain't